Alabama's WVUA News at 5. Coming up in home team weather, very mild this afternoon, 82 in the city of Tuscaloosa. Should be more like mid-May temperatures. What about the rest of the forecast? And cooler weather's back in the forecast. Weather is coming up. Stay with us. West Alabama is pausing to honor law enforcement officers for putting their lives on the line each and every day. We'll show you how. And a common drug that helps with a stuffy nose could soon face stiffer regulations here in Alabama. We'll show you what it could mean next time you go to the drugstore. Thanks for joining us. It's a, a day for honoring West Alabama law enforcement today. That's right. The Exchange Club held its annual Law Enforcement Officer, Officer of the Year Awards in Tuscaloosa today. But with the one-year anniversary of the April 27th tornado just two months away, this year's award ceremony was just a little different. The details are in our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. Officers were recognized from the University of Alabama, Northport, and Tuscaloosa Police Departments, the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Department, and the Department of Public Safety. Alabama Supreme Court Chief Justice Chuck Malone said it's important to remember that these people lay their lives on the line every day. The officers were honored for their hard work and dedication in the past year, but it was their efforts during April storms that made this award ceremony a little bit different this year. Alabama State Trooper Captain Agatha Windsor nominated the entire Tuscaloosa Post for its service in the aftermath of the April 27th tornado. And I felt it important, as a matter of fact, I'm the one that wrote it and submitted it. I felt important because of the joint effort, because we have five divisions within our department, and Highway Patrol is just one of them. So we brought uh, someone from each division to be here with us today. And here's a look at the Law Enforcement Officers of the Year honored today. Tuscaloosa Police Investigator William Danny Webster, Northport Police Officer Lekin Derek Edwards, Tuscaloosa County Sheriff Deputy Ray Jacobs, the University of Alabama Police Officer John Hooks, and all of the state troopers assigned to the Tuscaloosa Post. And another big story we've been following for you, the possibility of stormy weather. That's right. We've got a live look for you over the city of Tuscaloosa from our WVUA tower camera. Right now it's all clear, but will it stay that way tonight for the latest now on what you can expect with the weather? Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Richard, what's ahead this evening? Yeah, Terry and Lynn, watching things close for the chance for at least a few strong storms tonight. But the good news is the chance of severe weather is very small. Meanwhile, it is warm this afternoon. How about 80 in the city of Tuscaloosa? We had 82 this afternoon, some spots close to 85, which is where we should be in mid-May. 81 down to Jackson, 79 over in Little Rock in the southeast. We are dry. No rain to talk about right now. Some showers over southeast Alabama, but completely out of our viewing area. And there will likely be some storms developed to our northwest tonight. And there could be some organized severe weather across the Tennessee Valley, but around here, I think the chance of any organized severe storms is very small. A couple of thunderstorms are possible as early as 10 o'clock over our northwest counties. A thin band of storms will likely work through our area around the midnight hour. 65 at midnight. Good news is, again, we're talking a very low end threat, but stay severe weather alert in case a storm does grow a little strong to severe. We've got much more on your forecast, plus your weekend forecast coming up in a bit. Stay with us. WVUA is covering the Alabama legislature where two bills could put new restrictions on decongestants that contain the drug pseudofedrin. A bill before the state Senate would require a prescription to purchase the medication. A similar bill in the House calls for more restrictions, including only being able to use certain identifications to buy the drug. State Representative Blaine Gallagher, sponsor of the House version of the bill, says it's necessary to help law enforcement reduce the amount of methamphetamine that's currently being produced in Alabama. What we've tried to do is to work uh, together uh, to, to put together a bill that addresses the needs of the law enforcement community and their effort uh, to reduce the abuse of uh, pseudofedrin product, while at the same time, uh, protecting the right of the consumer to, to be able to buy this product. Tonight at 6, State Health Officer Don Williamson talks about other options you may have if you need a good decongestant. A judge in Birmingham has acquitted the man accused of drowning his newlywed wife during a honeymoon diving trip to Australia. Gabe Watson had faced a sentence of life in prison without parole if convicted of murdering his wife, Tina Thomas Watson, in 2003. 
Watson already served 18 months in an Australian prison after pleading guilty there to mans a manslaughter charge involving negligence. Prosecutors claimed he drowned her for insurance money, but the only eyewitness testified he thought Watson was trying to save his wife. Alberta City residents had the chance to speak out about the vision they have for storm recovery. Tonight, the Alberta Citizens Together group is hosting a meeting. President Dan McGuire tells us the meeting is for residents to talk about the changes they'd like to see as Alberta rebuilds from April's storms. That meeting cranks up at 6 p.m. It's at Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church in Alberta City. Music fans out there, listen up. Tickets to see Ringo Starr at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater are going on sale tomorrow. As we've reported, Ringo is bringing his 13th All-Star Band to the Amphitheater on July 3rd. The All-Star Band includes members of Toto, Journey, Santana, and Mr. Mister. Tickets start around $31 and go all the way up to $71. Bucks. And country music fans can get their tickets for Hank Williams, Williams Jr.'s concert on Saturday. 38 Special will be his guest when he takes the stage on April 7th. For more information about the tickets, go to our website, WVUATV.com. Tuscaloosa is remembering four local young men who died in a plane crash more than 40 years ago. You're invited to a free showing of the movie We Are Marshall. That's happening at the Bama Theater starting at 7 tonight. At this event, four young men from the former Druid High School in Tuscaloosa who were killed in that tragic plane crash will be honored. At the conclusion of the film, there will be a short question and answer period with a panel of former coaches and family members. Much more on the story for you tonight on WVUA News at 10. Coming up next in Home Team Weather, watch the storm system happening northwest of us tonight. Could see some strong storms in the area, but more likely just some showers and thunderstorms. What about cooler air back in the forecast by the weekend? Got the full details in Home Team Weather after the break. Stay with us. Why women have a lower survival rate of heart attacks at the hospital, the symptoms you need to know. And Alabama's most recent football commitment talks about his reasons for choosing the Crimson Tide. That's later for you in Alabama's home team sports.